United Kingdom's King Charles III is facing calls to address the legacy of British colonial rule as well as complaints that foreigners still own large swath of rich farmland and that the UK has failed to accept responsibility for the crimes of British soldiers stationed in Kenya. The Kenya Human Rights Commission has responded to that need by providing a detailed description of all the atrocities, of all the injustices to do with land and many other things. Now that he has that from us, we would like him now to come back and say, well, I've got much more deeper understanding than I expected. And we are demanding the king's apology. trip will closely be watched around the world because it's the king's first state visit to an African nation and is forced to a Commonwealth member since he ascended the throne last year. They should apologize now because an apology is actually a public acknowledgement and affirmation that a wrong happened and therefore there's also a room to have a remedy about it. So what they have been talking about is a statement of regret which is not a proper way of, of acknowledging that something wrong happened and you are also responsible. Before assuming the throne, King Charles III acknowledged the appalling atrocity of slavery during a speech on the Caribbean island of Barbados. Shortly.